been a fantastic audience. I've thoroughly enjoyed talking to you, and I wish you every success in your businesses. Thank you very much. We recently used Keith at one of our national training events uh, where we had a thousand self-employed salespeople and finding a motivational speaker for us is quite a difficult challenge uh, because our sales team are self-employed, they are there voluntarily and we need to make sure we only use top class motivational speakers. We had an excellent day with Keith and we'll certainly be rebooking him for some of our future events. I research the audience, give them a balance of information, humour and stories that they can relate to. And I think that's important. See, I want the audience to not just be interested, but delighted. And so, for example, when I speak to people about goal setting, I'd also show them a short film clip of me interviewing people about their goals. How many people here set themselves goals? God, I've never seen so many in one room. That is amazing. Goal setting is important because it, well, it's a bit like this, isn't it? Imagine that you're driving your car. If we're driving our car, we know precisely where we're going to go. We know when we want to get there by, we know what route we're going to take, why we're taking that route, and what the purpose of getting to our end destination was. How many people know that with their lives? I thought, let's go and find out. Let's go into the high street, I'll take a camera crew along as well, and film their responses. I just wondered if you set personal goals. No, you don't. Okay. Do you set personal goals? No? Personal goals? No? no. Do you, do you set any personal goals? Getting up in the morning, that's about it. If you want to be successful, and I'm sure a lot of you are very successful already, focus on what you want. Know why you want it. Focus on getting out of that comfort zone. If someone announced to you you've got a year to live, what would you do differently? Why does it take that pain before you'll shift your thinking? The key message from my talk is that we can change from being scared and running our lives with the brakes on to being confident and taking action to achieve the success we want. A few years ago I was selling some CDs and some tapes and they had hypnosis on them. And we were talking and selling these tapes on this table at a trade fair. And people would come up to us and they would be like this and they'd be looking down and walking along looking at the tapes but they wouldn't make eye contact with me. And I'd say, well, what's wrong with me? And they'd say, I don't want to look at you because you might hypnotize me. <laughs> it's fear of the unknown. And a lot of people are scared, scared of rejection, scared of failure, scared of not being liked. And that scared is like they're running with the brakes on. But we've got a way of coping, haven't we? Because we wear masks. Yeah, we're not ourselves. A lot of the time we wear masks. We've got a mask for when we're at work. We've got a different mask that we put on when we're down the pub with our friends. And we've got a different mask altogether when we're at home. Being a hypnotherapist, I actually get the opportunity to talk to people, to solve problems and to help them and to get behind that mask. The audience are the best judge of whether a speaker's good or not. And it's not just the applause or even a standing ovation. It's whether or not the message the speaker delivers makes a difference. One of the biggest fears is actually talking to people. Talking to people we don't know. But I'll tell you something that's very funny. I go along to these networking events, people are standing there with a cup of coffee in their hand. Someone's gone along, they want to build their business, but they do this. They get their cup of coffee, and they've got their cup of coffee, and they look around and they scan. Not for new business, but for someone they know. So they go over to someone they know, they say, John, lovely to see you, I haven't seen you for ages, how are you doing? John's not going to give them any business at all. They know he's not going to give them any business, but it's nice and comfortable, isn't it? So they stay in their comfort zone, they talk to someone they already know. So how do we talk to people we don't know? What do we say to people that we've never met before? How do we break the ice? I'd like you just to have a look around and see if there's someone you don't know already and just pretend there's someone you were going to introduce your business to. Someone that you haven't met already, just talk to them, say something to them that you would say if they were a new prospect, someone that you haven't met before, you want to try and get them involved in the business, what would you say to them? <laughs> So it's all about asking the right questions to introduce yourself. I help people too. What can you help them to do? Make more money? Be more successful? Have financial freedom? Let me share something with you. When I was delivering a talk recently, I had a friend sitting in the audience, and they were sitting next to someone that overheard them saying how desperate they were for a loo, but didn't want to miss anything. Well, that says it all really, doesn't it? 
I had the privilege of going to see Keith in action recently, and I have to say, it was a very simple message with a powerful, powerful impact. Keith is an excellent speaker, found him very entertaining, and uh, he keeps you focused. He holds you. Keith's talk was really brilliant. We sometimes struggle getting people to really visualise where they're going and to keep focused on that, and it's uh, really made a difference.